Have you ever wondered if the power held by regulatory bodies can sometimes feel like a double-edged sword? Well, let me tell you a tale that recently unfolded between on the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission and Debtbox, an up-and-coming player in the crypto space. A legal battle unfolds. Last summer, the SEC brought forth accusations against Debtbox, claiming they were running an illegal $50 million cryptocurrency scheme. But what followed was far from expected, exposing falsehoods. And when Debtbox presented evidence of the SEC's own falsehoods and misrepresentations, the tides began to turn. On May 28, 2024, Chief Judge Robert J. Shelby of the U.S. District Court for the District of Utah threw out the SEC's civil suit against Debtbox, granting a major victory for the company. Uh, costly consequences for the SEC, not only did Debtbox emerge victorious, but the SEC faced additional consequences. A judge ordered them to pay Debtbox $1.8 million in fees, including $750,000 for receiver and fees and approximately one million in legal bills and related expenses. Vindicated victory, we have some terrific news to share with our debt box community today. Um, debt box announced via Twitter, their statement echoed feelings of relief and triumph after a lengthy ministry legal battle, signaling that the SEC could not proceed with the matter as it stood. Um, a judgment and implications and Judge Shelby's decision was rooted in his earlier ruling from March 2024, where he highlighted the SEC's bad faith conduct during their pursuit of a temporary restraining order. This incident served as a reminder of the importance of truthfulness and honesty in enforcing regulations within the rapidly evolving world of cryptocurrencies. Regulation versus innovation, as the SEC grapples with ongoing legal battles involving prominent players such as Binance, Kraken, Ripple, and Coinbase, questions surrounding the balance between innovation and regulation continue to surface. This situation calls for lawmakers to consider passing legislation like the Financial Innovation and Technology for the 21st Century Act to address the uncertainty in the digital asset market. And there you had it, a cautionary tale of regulatory reach and its potential impact on innovative businesses in the crypto realm. With that said, thank you for watching, tuning in, and until next time. Oh, and here's a little joke for you. Why don't regulators play hide and seek? Because good luck hiding when everyone knows your name.